This is Hindsight Radio. I represent it. The information station changing the nation. Peace to the God. This is Akeem from Hindsight Radio. The information station changing the nation. I'm making this really quick uh, video about the national passport. Uh, the one question I keep getting from people is, is my passport going to look different? Is it going to say my that I'm a state national? Is it going to say national on it? Is it going to have some look different from the passport I had pre prior to me applying for my national passport status? The answer, simply put, is no. Yeah, passport will look identical to the one you had before. The difference is how you filled out the application. That what what makes a difference. See, people do not understand how contracts work. When you filled out the application, the first time you filled it out as a U.S. citizen, and you set up certain things on that application to look like a U.S. citizen. Now, when you come to me, I teach you how to fill it out as a national, but not a citizen of the United States. And they give you your passport. What people forget about, and it's very frustrating to keep repeating myself, is this. When you do the application, you swear an oath to say that everything on that application is true and correct under penalty and perjury, right? So the first time you did it, when you did it as a U.S. citizen, you swore that you was a U.S. citizen, right? Which you lied because I taught you, if you anybody who's come to my seminars, I tell you, you never was a U.S. citizen if you was born in one of the sovereign states of the union. If you're born in New York, you're a New Yorker. North Carolina, you're a North Carolinian. You understand? Or if you're South Carolina, South Carolinian. So you assumed you were a U.S. citizen because on the application, that's all they gave you. It was a yes or no. Are you a U.S. citizen? It was a mind game. It was a mind, uh, Jedi mind trick for you. And you hear so many people talking about, oh, you're a U.S. citizen, this, that, and the other, because you have a birth certificate from New York. No, my birth certificate does not say U.S. on it. It says New York, and I can only go to New York to get my birth certificate. So if I was a U.S. citizen, I should be able to go down to D.C. to get it. I should go anywhere in, this, in any one of the states to get it. No, I can only get my birth certificate from the place I was born in. Or a.k.a. the country I was born in. And if people have a confusion about whether state is a country, let's look up the definition again. I've done this so many times. So let's look it up. It's right there. See the synonyms of uh, state? A nation or territory considered as an organized political community under one government. Country. There's, there it is. That's the synonym for state. See? So, back on topic. Is your passport going to look different? No. It's going to look identical to the one. Why do I know this? Because the Department of State said it. Here it is. On the, If you read this whole thing, Certificates of Non-Citizen Nationality, if you go back and re look at my other video, I did a video completely on this. But it says here, I'm not reading this whole thing. It says, as the department has received few requests, there is no justification for issuing of a non-citizen national certificate. Now, this is this non-citizen national certificate is a Jedi mind trick, also, but that's explained in my other video. I just want to get to the part where what they're going to give you. Designing a separate document that includes anti-fraud mechanisms was seen as an inefficient expenditure of resources. Therefore, the department determined that those who would be eligible to apply for such a certificate may instead apply for a United States passport that would delineate and certify their status as a national, but not a citizen of the United States. See, people don't read this. They don't see this part. National, but not a citizen. It would delineate. What is the delineation? It's not the book itself. It's your application. That's the delineation. How you filled it out. What you took an oath to. So when you do my process that I'm teaching, 
you're going to be taking an oath to being a national, but not a citizen of the United States because you're going to have the proper line outs. You're going to have the proper uh, explanatory statements that connects you to that uh, oath or that um, that uh, declaration that you're making. So, no, your book won't look different. It's going to look the same. One of the reasons I, I think they do that because they, they know how big mouth everybody is. Oh, look at my book. I'm a national. Look, 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 look. See, nah, nah. That's the type of stuff that people do. They get something and they want to run around bragging. Look, I'm this. I'm that. Step chest up. This is not for that. This is for freedom. This is, you want to be a national, it's for freedom so you can go private. And private people keep their mouth shut and stop running around and don't actually have to have. Something that, from them, that says who they are. You say who you are by way of your explanatory statements. You make that declaration. Really, years ago, your passport was your application. Passport used to be 11, 11 by 17. Years, a couple of hundred years ago. It wasn't a book. So to... to to, de to uh, make everything uniform, they gave you a book. So you didn't have to carry that paper around. That's why I tell you guys to go get a certified copy of your application that you filled out to show how you did it. So you're not going to give them the passport book. When you're proving you're a national but not a citizen of the United States, you're going to give them your certified copy of your application that you filled out that they approved and sent you your book on. You understand? So there you go. It's not going to look any different. It's going to look the same as the one you had before. The difference is you. You and your energy, your studies, helped you be a national but not a citizen of the United States. And it's that for your request, when you put it in, that's going to be the proof that you're going to get. That's why when I teach, you order the book, then you order the certified copies of your application. Because you're going to use that to correct other things. But there it is. I hope you understand that now and I don't have to get emails. Everybody, I mean, I... I help a lot of people and I tell them this directly that it's not going to look different. And they still send me emails. Oh, my book doesn't look different because they're so stuck on what? Hearing people who lied to them before saying, I got this other passport, but they never saw that book. They never, sh no one ever showed them this book that looked different. That came from the Department of State. And if there is one that looks different, someone show me, please, because I haven't seen evidence of it. I could be wrong. Until someone shows me a book that looks different and they apply for it and then show me certified copies of the application that they used to get that, it doesn't exist in my mind. What we have to start doing as a people is start going off facts, not hearsay. And I just showed you the facts. I'm showing you their website. I'm going off my experience and so many others. Your application, your certified copy. And if you want to know how to get certified copies, I got another video on how to do that. Go to that video, get a certified copy of your application. Some of you, what you can do is get a certified copy before and after. One how you apply to the U.S. and then get one as when you apply as a national. Do that too if you want to, you know, that kind of really reinforce that you've changed your status in their system. All right? Remember, you take an oath to those applications. You sign off in front of an officer that this is correct. And you swear into that or you're affirming to that. So that is the real document that shows your nationality, who you are. You're a national, but not a citizen of the United States. All right. Thanks for the, listening to my little rant, but I just got tired of getting those emails, so I, I put that out there. I'm actually having a seminar in Las Vegas um, on October the 5th, 2019. Anybody who is in that area, show up, and I'll break all this down in, in better detail, in person. All right. Peace.